We're going live, and we are live on YouTube for episode number 120. 120. How could you not know that? Hello. I didn't know that. Episode 120. <laughs> I, uh, I read it dramatically. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You my time. For the, okay. Um, because I asked you guys like four seconds before I. <laughs> no, and I had no idea. Zero. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Hey, uh, I, I'm not talking much because I'm actually not seeing us. I see, yes, I'm in our chat right now. We're good. Okay, I wanted to be able to see the chat too. I don't know why I can't see it. But oh, I blocked you from our channel. <laughs> well, I was trying to watch from our channel. Maybe we both can't. Uh, no, we you should be able to. It's still loading on my computer too, but the internet doesn't care about our chit chat and technical issues, do well, they? No. Yeah. I suppose not. And I just uh, hi for you, well, for everyone. Yeah, yes. we're just hello, talking. everybody. We'll just talk to ourselves. <laughs> so this week we have the return of Brian Face. We were on such a good run. <laughs> we were on a good run. And then Sorry. I I found Mayo Chup and Cranch. We actually had Mayo Chup once before. We did. It was awful. It was you, you actually like legitimately gagged the last time. Yeah. I mean, one of you two said, you know, we don't have anything that's that bad this week. Yes, we do. <laughs> like anything. Well, when did I say we don't have anything that bad this week? Yeah, I don't remember that. Yes, yeah, so one. Yeah. I'll get the receipt on that one. But one it was the talking. previous week we said that. <laughs> no, no, this week you're like, you know, I just don't know if we have anything bad enough. But yes, oh, I think that was last week. As soon as I saw that, no, I was. That was this our week, friendship is in danger. That. But um, yeah, it's like you could do spice to me, and like that's gonna be painful, but okay. But yeah, anything with mayonnaise, uh, uh-uh, uh, that's. Mm-mm. No, I will not be doing like a oh, like a whole big thing of mayonnaise and see how much I can do. In my, mm-mm. Mm-mm. Well, we were gonna get, yeah, but there's also some good things in here, it looks like. Yeah, there are some good things here, and we have some lies. We have, we have like a lot of lies in this week's episode. We have a lot really, of what? We have a lot of lies. Lies lot of are what they say they are. Oh, hey, Heather. Great to see you too. Okay. Hi, Heather. Really? You see Heather? I just see her emojis. This may be yeah. something on your end, Danny, because I can see it fine. You're oh, no, I see her chat. I don't see her because we're the ones on camera and she's on the other end of the internet. I see the other end of the internet. See, I go and like, oh. reach out hey, to people because I care. Oh, yeah. You do care. Hey, Lily. Me less. Hey, Lily. <laughs> Should we do a podcast episode? Okay, I sure. We can pause. Do you, do you have enough? Hold on, Brian. Do mm-hmm. you have enough to drink to get this out of your mouth when we get there? Yes. Do you well, have a, a, There is enough. Have, yes, I do. Do you have a puke bucket available? Oh. Ew. No, and like I can't make Amy clean it up this week. No. <laughs> well, that's true. It wouldn't be in my house, so you know. Yeah. I have the virtual background. The studio. I should, we should address that too. Yeah. I could have our logo over my shoulder. But I'm way too high maintenance, and my hair is awesome. But it gets a yellow glow, and I'm just not going to have. I that. have a yellow halo around me, and I yeah, don't. Yeah, that's not me. me. It's really not you. No. And I would have to like be careful about how I wielded things. Like that was a, a spoiler. So, um, yeah, it just wasn't working for me. Okay, are you ready, Danny, for us to pause? Yeah, you should have taken advantage because I did just pause. He he really did. Yeah, but still, I, the rest of us weren't paused. So Brian was paused. Too. I was totally, I was paused for a long time. Brian was paused for yeah, a long time. Somebody was just yammering on and on and on about his hair and his halo. Yeah, but then I stopped, and Brian stopped, and we could have started. I'm just gonna go on record. I was sitting here quiet for the last thirty seconds. I was ready. This is the Food Scientist Podcast. I'm your host, Amy Zajac. I am here with Brian Pierce. Well, hello, everyone. And Danny Sussman. Hello, everyone in the whole universe. I'm so and, uh, happy to see you here. Yeah, he needs to be the happiest. Uh, I am the happiest. I don't need to be. I am. We, you are, because this is not going to be a fun week for me. No. It's well, fun yeah, at me. least not today. Not today. So we will have news and experiences. And the host even has an experience this time. It's been a couple times. since. Is it salad? Spoilers. Uh, we're going to have some Klondike bars, some Pringles, Oreos, and what they call saucy sauces. 
Do they call them saucy sauces? They do, but they're not very saucy. They're more dippy or spready, but we'll get to that. Dippy and for, for sure. those of you, hang on, because they're sure to elicit some Brian face. Oh, yeah. Of course, he's we, probably going we'll to have to say what now. they are. We have the return of Mayo Chup. We have Cranch. Which I don't, well, I'll talk about when we get there. Yeah, there's a lot of myst- mystery to Cranch. And then Honey Sriracha, because the Heinz people, they're up to something. And I will hold it back up so you can see that it says saucy sauce. Yeah, I, I, I believe you. <laughs> Maybe the honey sriracha won't be terrible. Maybe. Right. Maybe, Maybe at the end of this episode, you won't have some cranch on you. Just the name is not good. We'll get to that. We'll get to yeah, that. it's like the sound when you're just vomiting it up. Yeah. Ranch. Okay, so does Maybe anybody we'll have news? We can I have beyond news. the bletch and go to the news. <laughs> I have news. There's a new chips ahoy cookie coming out that makes no sense to me Hmm. and like all things that make no sense to me it's apparently just a dollar general at least for this part (laughs) and we're gonna have another dollar general exclusive later the uh chicken and waffles pringles Mm -hmm. but this one that's coming is chips ahoy with sour patch kids yeah that does not sound right no, the Sour Patch Kids have been uh, really taking over places that they really don't need to. Do Sour Patch Kids belong anywhere but on their own? Probably not. Maybe with licorice or something else, it's the same texture. But why would Maybe you want to with Sour Patch Kids? I mean, I could see one as a direct decoration on top of a cupcake or something. Well, yeah, maybe. Like, the, like as a warning that the cupcake contains poison. I mean, I like I like sour. Like, I like funny. Sour Patch Kids. They used to be a lot more sour, too. I only like the red ones. I don't really like sour. I don't know if they're all that different. Oh, no, they're different. Like, the yeah. lemon ones are super. The yellow ones, they're super. I'm usually just all when I yeah. eat them, so I, I don't know. But, yeah. So, Sour Patch Kids in Chips Ahoy. And Chips Ahoy are weird anyway. So. Yeah, they're not my favorite cookie. And don't ask me what my favorite cookie is. I don't I'm, know. Oh. And then... Uh, <laughs> well, then it might be your favorite. Yeah, it could be well, your favorite. Well, that's true. If, if I mean, know. it's a cookie. I will eat it. But it, my favorite... Uh, yeah, anyway. My favorite have cookie you ever my made your, Have you ever made your own cookie crisp with Chips Ahoy, though? With Chips Ahoy? No. Yeah. Oh, it's Chips Ahoy and milk? milk? You'll be a fan. Yeah. Just put them in a bowl and pour milk and just cereal. That the would have been my way lot. around. I, I will agree no with that because I've dumped... Really. Oh, see, you're saving time. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Anyone else have news? I have news. You know, talk about rushing the season. Uh, there's already Christmas holiday candy. What? That, yeah, they're already talking about, uh, let's see, it is sugar cookie white chocolate M&Ms sugar. that are going to be coming out this holiday season. So... I don't know if we have ever heard of anything that early before, but yeah, this here we are. You know, we're not actually, uh, yeah, no, we are that far. I was thinking it was June, but it's not, it's May. Yes, the beginning of May, May, first week of May. Yeah, no, that makes no sense. Plus, if you're going to announce something, announce something that sounds good. Yeah, like this is not like chocolate m and Although I will say this, a sugar cookie with M&Ms sounds a lot better than M&Ms with sugar cookie. Mm-hmm. And, it's, and white chocolate M&M's at that. Right. Mm. It's just going to be a white chocolate M&M. I mean, there's not going to yeah. be much to yeah, it. Yeah, that's a little sweeter probably. Let's go to experiences. I don't even okay. want to think about that. I've got an experience. And it's Where salad. It's no, it's not. Thank God. Remember these? Yes. How yeah. long ago did we talk about these? Are they getting more fresh? It's got to be at least a month, right, yeah. guys? Maybe two? It's been a while. And Amy, or audio, maybe you could say to our audio listeners. Yeah, that- yeah. Uh, <laughs> Amy's the holding the totally nutties that we had. Yeah, the host is totally nutty. Remember our review? We didn't love these. Right. They were okay. You guys, but, yeah. They're okay. You guys didn't take them home. I keep right. forgetting I have these. That's why they're still around. Can you hear? They're still in there. Right. 
even even in the time of sh shelter in place and social distancing, having bad food cravings, I keep forgetting I had these. <laughs> so you don't see your experience is something you haven't experienced. <laughs> so my experience is to remind everybody they exist, but maybe you don't need to be reminded because they're not that memorable. But if you have them in your house, eat them. So I how did you remember them since I rediscovered them? them? And I'm not going to eat this second one now but there's there's like three or four there's wait like, amy wait wait i don't remember are they bite-sized well you could make them bite-sized i can't well it's a snack cake mm -hmm. so of course it's bite sized. I, I was just wondering if maybe you had tested that out yeah. stay tuned for our youtube channel you may see something somebody fail at it but <laughs> we're not going to mm -hmm. do that now <laughs> all right all right fair enough fair enough after party yeah <laughs> but speaking of youtube Mm -hmm. uh if you're not following our youtube channel danny and i both made fitness videos this week absolutely so make sure that you're uh, following us on youtube youtube.com slash food scientists yeah we uh i We're i got exercise this week yeah. i walked to dairy queen no don't don't spoil it it's my it's my food experience oh okay <laughs> we're doing food experiences i walked to dairy queen and I had a healthy blizzard. Mm -hmm. And I regretted it. Which was the healthy blizzard? It's the, the people that uh, haven't watched. The fudge raspberry bliss. Oh, raspberry, yeah. Raspberry. And I will say this, I think my Dairy Queen forgot that that one was on the menu. Yeah. Because when I asked for it, like three people were like, what? And I'm like, it's one of the new ones. And it didn't have like the fudge chunks. It was basically just like raspberry blended into a blizzard without the, I don't know that it had the cone dip that it's supposed to have or the fudge pieces. Hmm. It still sounds better than the <laughs> frosted animal cookie though. Yeah. yeah. I haven't even tried that one. I just no. took your recommendation and haven't. Don't, don't get yeah. one and get, yeah, something else. I tried to add banana to it, but they were out of bananas too. Oh, that would have been so healthy. I know it was going to be like, like my day would have been like New Year's resolution day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would have had like two kinds of fruits and a walk all in the Ooh. same. Oh, you earned that treat. But yeah, but bullet dodged. I didn't have the banana. Well, my experience this week, I tried something that we talked about a while ago, and I figured it was time. Uh, the new Wendy's breakfast menu. Oh, yeah. Oh, How yeah. Yeah. So I tried a couple things. I went twice this week because I'm dedicated. Uh, <laughs> I just thought because you had a thing for redheads. Well, you know, um, gingers do have souls. I'm just going to put that out there. Mm -hmm. um, but I tried the Baconator breakfast sandwich. Sounds good. Tell um, me more about this Baconator breakfast yes, sandwich. It is basically a bacon cheeseburger, but substitute beef with a sa sausage patty. Sausage? Okay. Sausage. Does so it's it talk bacon back at you? You get that sausage and beef, and uh, you know, get five strips of bacon. So sausage and bacon. Yeah, and um, cheese and egg. Wow. Mm. It was really good. It was really good. Now I had coupons come in the mail. That's why I even thought of it. Of course, you didn't pay full price. Right. Well, because it would be like the meal would be like eight dollars for that and for breakfast that's a little you know a little much it was good don't get me wrong it was good i don't know if i'd want to spend I guess, that what was the bun was it a, a it was just a regular bun oh okay yeah it wasn't anything special i mean you i didn't even think i was eating a, a breakfast sandwich even though it was breakfast items in it because it was so much but it was good right now um with the sides they actually have interesting sides that you can get an uh oatmeal granola bar you can get a biscuit or you can get the default, which is their uh, seasoned uh, potatoes, which are like little Jojo's, you know, the wedges, mm -hmm. um, which were surprisingly good. I actually ordered a biscuit to go along with that the first time and they got that wrong. But I was like, eh, whatever. I'll have the seasoned potatoes. I really enjoyed them. They weren't too thick. So it wasn't just like you were eating a potato. You know, sometimes with the wedges, it's too much potato. And, you and not enough fried potato. part. <laughs> yeah, yep. This was a lot of fried part. No, um, and then I went today and I decided to keep that. And I got the, um, let's see, it was the bacon egg sausage biscuit. And that was good. It was solid. 
So the difference was it was on a biscuit and no cheese? Yeah, and not five strips of bacon. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it was fine. Their biscuits, they didn't taste like they were right out of the oven. Did they taste they like were, they were baked in the same zip code? Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I would recommend their their uh, seasoned potatoes, and I normally wouldn't do that. So. I will say this, Brian I was kind enough to share with me like three teeny tiny little pieces of his season. <laughs> you were lucky you got that. I, oh, oh, listen, I didn't say, I said you were kind. Like that was no sarcasm. Yes. I know everything I say sounds sarcastic. <laughs> I believe it came from the heart. Um, I was surprised at two things. One, how small they really were, mm -hmm. but also delicious. You know Let's who see. else wasn't kind? What? Me, I baked brownies. I didn't share any with you guys. Well, you know what I made this morning, Amy? I uh, made homemade breakfast sausage and didn't share any of that with you. Yeah, after I already pick up everything for the week, you're like, oh, by the way, I have... Uh, I'm making homemade breakfast sausage. <laughs> right. Hey, last week, I made like eight pounds of uh, smoked pork. And <laughs> I gave a lot of that to Brian and also none. <laughs> you're like, hey, he messages me and Amy and he says, hey, I have uh, leftover pork if, if any of you want some. I'm like, sure, I'll get some. He's like, you can reheat some for a meal or something. I'm like, fine. I show up, there's a vacuum sealed bag, three pounds of pork. <laughs> yeah. I um, We know this. That wasn't even sale meat. That was full price meat. Um, <laughs> what? But I had this idea that I wanted to use my like charcoal smoker grill and make my own pulled pork. And you get a pork butt. I, I ordered the groceries online. And I was like, well, they'll give me a like five pound one because that was the default and hopefully it'll be on the small side and I'll just have meals for the week it showed up it was like nine pounds <laughs> and so I just smoked the whole thing it was I thought it came out really well yeah it was really good I didn't even I put some barbecue sauce on it sometimes but doesn't eat it it's good yeah I am um, I, I did not take you up on the pork and I honestly forgot about the breakfast sausage I am um, about the brownies too yeah well, no, I, I'll trade brownies for breakfast sausage. Yeah, I have. Uh, made. <laughs> yeah, I had pork like so many different ways. I had it with barbecue. I was like, oh, I bet this would make really good tacos. It makes really good tacos with like some salsa verde. I'm like, oh, I, you know what I made? I made a breakfast sandwich with it. Like I kind of round mm -hmm. it with a, an egg and I let the yolk dip into like kind of be the sauce on that. Oh, that was really good. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of pork this week. And, you know, I should explain to people, you know, we're talking about sharing things and getting together. We are social distancing. We, yeah. we have this down on how we do it. We Danny leaves bags outside his door. We leave bags for him outside his yeah. door. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just like, just it's, it's random care packages. I trade stuff too. I traded this week uh, some of my homemade jam for sourdough pizza dough. Mm. Like I left a, a couple of jars of jam on the steps. I got uh, homemade sourdough pizza dough back. I grilled those suckers up. That was really good. I'm living like a king. The The breakfast sausage is part of a maple syrup exchange. I know somebody that like boy, built a maple syrup boiler in their yard and just has gallons of maple syrup. And they set up a recipe exchange where 14 people are all making something <laughs> that involves maple syrup. Yeah. And, um, and then you'll just, it'll all gather centrally and then get distributed back out. It's like maple cookies, maple candy, but I went savory and I did the uh, breakfast sausage, which is why I made eight pounds of um, turkey breakfast sausage using that maple syrup this morning. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God. I believe it. I will give you brownies. <laughs> I have to see how many patties I've left because I got to distribute them to like 14 no, people. That's fine. It's fine. <laughs> but I will make it again in a heartbeat. It is super good. I felt dumb for never <laughs> doing that before. Well, shall we find out the age-old question? What would you do for a Klondike bar? These are weird. To that is surprisingly little. Yeah, I agree. So we're missing one. So we have the Klondike donuts, which come in three flavors, triple chocolate, frosted strawberry, and Boston cream. I don't get it because they're not donuts. They're Klondike bars. Well, they're going to be donut flavored, right? And they're donut decorated, according to the box. See the strawberry? They have a hole in the center like a donut. Ah. Oh, yes, they it's do. I can feel that. And the chocolate is the same. 
And the Boston cream was the one that actually seemed most like a donut versus mm -hmm. chocolate and strawberry. Think, so that's probably the one we can I love have. Boston cream flavor in general. Which one are we going to go for first, guys? Chocolate. You're the host. I, I'll, chocolate's good. That's in my hand. Uh, mine, it says, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Grow a mullet. And for those that don't know, because I don't know that I've seen those commercials lately, it's a commercial campaign from what, the 80s, 90s, something like that. Yeah. Clearly, they still do it. Okay. Um, I'm going to say here before even trying it, I think the whole is to give us less food. Well, yeah. But, yeah, but you get a second color of chocolate on it. So that makes up for it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it has kind of a donut flavor to it, though, I, I will say. Was it, mine's a little melty. That's not their fault. But, uh, right, I'm trying to take a picture it's before a Klondike I bar. get into it. <laughs> mm. And it's all over my face. Mm -hmm. That is really chocolatey. We had the right thought of let's eat this first because it's going to melt, but now we have to eat the whole thing. <laughs> Well, I was just going to put it back in the freezer because it's right behind me. I feel like that's the problem with Klondike bars is they end up all over you. So you're all going to see me disappear while they keep eating theirs. I mean, that's always the thing, isn't it? Like, they really should have a stick or something. I know you can mm -hmm. use the wrapper. I'm not fancy like that. No. I don't know. It's a Klondike. I, the whole, it doesn't seem donutty to me. It looks like a donut, but I agree with you. Now, my strawberry says, what would you do for a Klondike bar? It says, attend your high school reunion wearing your old prom outfit. Would you quack like a duck? No. Well, that was one of the things. <laughs> Mine says, run a 5K in a polar bear costume. Uh-uh. I would do it in a panda head. Uh-uh. So the strawberry one. Um, mine also, that one's also falling apart. But yes, mine too. It looks donutty. But okay, I'm gonna eat this whole one because I don't want to try and bring it back to the. It's good, freezer. but I don't know that it's um, any different from a regular Klondike bar, other than having a hole in it. Hey, Brian, is that one bite size? Mm-hmm. You're not going to see that today. Oh. Yeah. That was what I was hoping for. <laughs> I do like not it. When we have a whole episode to get through. Do you like <laughs> strawberry ice cream? Not I, always. I do. So I do like this. It's not a donut again, but this is good. I don't get... I really don't get the donut tie-in. It's definitely a lie to me. It's a Horeo. Yeah, it's a Horeo. Like um, Heather said, they look good, but I think I would rather just have this as a chocolate Klondike bar. Um, the donut thing is an unnecessary gimmick. I think the whole does give you more chocolate coating. I suppose. But, yeah. yeah, that was only not bite-sized because it would be way too messy, and I couldn't just yeah. eat it. <laughs> I am... Um, I would not get those again. I would eat them if given to me. I kind of want to eat them both together, but I'm not going to. Oh, Amy, first you don't tell us if the the nutty bars are, are bite-sized. Now you want to do that, but don't. Well, because they're, they're coming apart too much, and I'm already too messy. Oh, that's like fine. Like, not making it bite-sized. <laughs> Should I'm we move on? Next time, next time we're all together in the studio, we can do that. You think these are going to last that long? Well, I think we'll still be selling them. <laughs> so, I would. Do you know how many flavors of Klondike bars there are? No, Is how many? Ones? I think there's like a toffee one, <clears throat> caramel. I'm looking on this package, and you see there's a oh. stack of all the flavors. Oh, go through it for me. So and there's sure. there's mini versions of the original. Brownie fudge swirl, mint chocolate chip, crunch, Oreo, Heath, Reese's peanut butter cup, and the original. I think that sounds like a lot of Oreos to me. Yeah. It's a lot of Oreos. Um, I'm most intrigued by the crunch because I like crunch. That, that could be good, but you know, they make other Nestle crunch bars too. 
Yeah, I, I think you still have the same problem of um, a Klondike bar just ends up all over you. Mm -hmm. I'm still getting chocolate off my mouth. Not a bad mm. thing. So. That happens. Should we move on? Yeah. Yeah, we should. There's a new Oreo out. Wait, Oreo or Pringle? Oh, we're doing the Pringle next? There's a new Pringle too. <laughs> I would kick notes. These are Dollar General exclusive. They're chicken and waffle. And as we know, the uh, Pringle people like to put an anthropomorphized uh, Pringle, excuse me, on their container. And this one um, is a, ch a Pringle that looks like a chicken. And it's weird. <laughs> but chicken and waffle is kind of weird. It is. I like it, but it ends up really being just like a lot of work for maple syrup. I like fried chicken. I like waffles. I don't need them together, but if you put them together, I'll eat it. Let's see what, you know, we know. And then you're so like, you know what, if we put all that together and then put it in a Pringle, it's like breakfast in a chip. Let's see. It smells more waffly. Oh. No. Oh. That is maple and chicken. And not chicken, like... Like chicken yeah, and a biscuit chicken. chicken. Like roadkill chicken. Amy, you never cease to amaze me at what doesn't make you cringe. <laughs> like coffee is terrible, but this you're like, I can tell from your face. You're like, oh, that's not bad. Well, it's, it's bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. It's bad. It's not great. No. No. I'm not getting the strong chicken flavor, you, but I don't know what I am getting. Uh, that's bad chicken. Yeah, have you had a few, right? Yeah. Whoa. I'm not getting any waffles. That, that last one you saw me, I was letting sit on my tongue even because the first one I bit into a lot, I thought maybe I didn't get the full. Ugh. My it's theory on not some like of the... the chicken in the top ramen chicken noodle flavor. It's not like bouillon. Not my... as bad as bouillon. But that's my theory good. on it's these Dollar General exclusives. Waffles. Yeah. My theory on these Dollar General, you know, I don't like Pringles to begin with, but my theory on these Dollar General exclusives is that the Pringles people come up with the flavor and it's not that good. And they're like, well, that's not going to sell nationwide, but I bet we could sell a few of them as a novelty and Dollar General customers will buy anything. Did you see the disclaimer? No chickens were harmed in the making of this product. <laughs> <clears throat> But they are. They have, they suffer reputational harm. <laughs> they see people from those that think that's what chicken tastes like. They're never going to have chicken again. I think that's funny. If nothing else, the Pringles people make me laugh. Yeah. I wasn't quite laughing when I was eating those, but... Uh... It was... Okay, now we can go on to what Danny wanted. Yeah, there's another new Oreo out. I know. There's no cocoa. With them. Yeah. The, the Oreo people figured out dark chocolate cream and they've just been going nutty because first the, the dark chocolate Oreo came out, then the fudge covered dark chocolate Oreo, and now it's the dark chocolate Oreo thin. Amy's holding up three of them to make them back into a regular Oreo. Huh? But they are thin. Excuse me, the Pringles making me tickle my throat. Oh. Oh, they separate. Oh, that is a dark uh, cream on it. It's almost as dark as the cookie. It tastes I mean, just tasting... like the cookie, too. Yeah, I'm not tasting dark chocolate. I'm just tasting Oreo. Like if, you, if you are the kind of person who likes Oreos for the cookie, not the cream, one, you're a monster. But two, this is the one for you. Yeah. Because it just tastes like Oreo cookie, no cream. There is cream, but you don't taste the cream. Well, the thins, you always taste the cookie more. But with the cream being the same chocolate as the cookie. Mm -hmm. yeah, the cream Oreo is cookie. Oreo. So if you really like chocolate, these would be really good mixed with uh, milk in a cereal bowl. Yeah. Look at that. I just have just the cream. Mmm. Yeah, that is an Oreo flavored Oreo, but not like just the Oreo cookie flavored. I do still have some of the uh, Latin American 
cookies and cream Oreos. You like know if, what they they kind of remind me of the brownie Oreos that we had from one of the. Oh uh, yeah, mm. I could see that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not bad, but you know it wouldn't be my go-to for for any Oreos. You know, I'm looking at the Oreo thin, just the cookie, right? And you ever see like, it, it's like a roadkill Oreo cookie. Like it just, it looks like a, sla a sad flattened version of an Oreo. And it's kind of breaking my heart. Like when you see a squished squirrel. As a kid, I, I used to only want to eat the cream. Like I was like, who eats out the cream and then eats the cookie? Just eat out the cream and throw away the cookie. And it looks like Heather is my uh, soulmate there. Heather, you should do that with the most stuffs. Yeah. If and then you'll never the bank your buck. <clears throat> now I like them both together too. But... Well. Hey, Brian. Through this. That's a wrap, folks. Have a great week, everyone. We no, sure it's not. This, no, it's not. Which means saucy sauce. Saucy oh. sauce. I tried. I really tried to get Brian the smallest possible quantity I could. Yeah, and apparently I'm not trustworthy with your containers. Apparently not. <laughs> um, the smallest ones I had were deemed the good containers. And so they had to stay within the confines of my uh, compound here. So Brian gets more. So we have the original mayo chup. And that actually, um, I don't want to break this. I don't want to like make this even worse for you, Brian. But that's literally the original mayo chup. Because if you look, Amy, on the, the bottle, the expiration date was this past December. <laughs> yep. yep. December 23rd, so the end of December. Yeah. I just noticed that. I would hold it up for them, but it's very hard to see in the book. Yeah, and your virtual background is meaning we can't see it at all. Well, if but I trust me, it, it was Best Buy uh, five months ago. Yeah. So it has that going for it. And here's the thing. It didn't matter how much you gave me. I, it doesn't mean I'm going to eat more. I'm not eating the whole thing. No, me. but it could be rancid mayo chup. But I'm trying to figure out, since ranch is often made from mayo or sour cream, but how different is ranch? It, right. The ranch has more seasoning. What gets me is that the coloring of the word ranch on the bottle, and for our podcast, so KRA is in red, NCH is in blue, but... The R and the A in ketchup red are not part of the word ketchup. Like, why would cranch be half and half? It should be like the K from ketchup and the rest from ranch. And in mayo chup, it's pink and red. Yeah, because you'd have white on white for the mayo, so they just made the mayo part pink. But oh. the cranch packaging makes no sense. Oh. And then I always thought that sriracha was like the, the sweet of the hot sauces anyway, but they added honey. But with that sriracha has being a very ketchup-like, sriracha it's, being very ketchup-like, it is natural for them to do a sriracha thing. Yeah. Um, so. I say, though, it's very easy to mix these things together yourself. Yeah, you have to be super. Although it does claim on the packaging on the back that um, it does include, except for the honey racha, the other two claim it includes other seasonings. Like um, probably the devil's. <clears throat> so uh, shall we start with the original? How do you want to do this, guys? So what we said here is that everyone would bring their own vessel for sampling. What did you choose, Brian? Well, you know, we were talking about maybe French fries, maybe some tots, you know, maybe some, you know, different things that you could buy or, or make real quick. Um, and I just thought, I'm not going to enjoy any of these, so why should I do that? I just got tortilla chips. They're bite-sized because, you know, I like that. Right. But, yeah, I just have tortilla chips. I um, I was going to use tots because I love tots. And then I realized that I didn't want to associate tots with these. So I just got frozen French fries that have been out of the oven now for Okay. Five minutes. <laughs> I thought you meant you didn't even cook them. <laughs> no, they they were cooked, but thirty five minutes ago they came out, and you know you can't if you put like I just made these in the toaster oven, that just makes them a soggy mess from the start because they're not fried. So this is all going to be double gross for me, but I do have some of the long look at that. Like you see it, 
I, you smoke this long French fry like a cigarette, but you can see it's also drooping. So you yeah, have a lot, don't you? I have sad fries. Um, I thought about putting salt on them, but I was like, why bother? I have two things as well. Probably a chick a chicken sandwich. Nope, veggie straws. Okay. Salty, crispy, whatever. Yep. And uh, saltines, because my family, we eat ketchup on saltines, and these are all ketchup products, kind of. So I is that like what you do it when you're getting fancy, is put the ketchup on the saltine? No, it's just a snack. It's yeah, like fries with ketchup. Herbs, it's, you know. it's starchy, salty, and ketchup. Right. You're at like a, a big affair. There's just a waiter pass it with trays of uh, saltines with ketchup on them. <laughs> I told you, we who did this, and we, we carried out the tradition, but he also used to just dunk uh, crusty bread into maple syrup. So I have a question. Hmm. If you had a saltine with ketchup on it, yes, easy cheese make it better or worse? I don't know. I've never done that. Um, for my taste, if you like the if you like the taste of ketchup, it's probably worse. Because it would be like a grilled cheese and tomato soup, tomato soup, so but in saltine and ketchup. I mean, it would be the the, the other end of the fakeness. Yeah, my grandpa started doing that mostly because he loved ketchup. I think that you would make it super fancy if you did that, the saltine with the layer of ketchup and then just like the artistic squirt of easy cheese on top. And then put one little fancy. piece of chive. Yeah. Uh, well, we need to eat these guys. Yeah, as much Please. as I want to hear about your artistic squirts, um, which one are we starting with? Uh, I don't know. Which artistic squirt would you like, Brian? I think we got to start with this. The mayo chup. The mayo chup, okay. Oh. No, I actually like, like mayonnaise on french fries. And uh, I like mayonnaise and ketchup on a burger. I would prefer a truffle mayo. But like, the mayo chop when you said Brian. <laughs> I smelled it. I'm gonna take issue at calling this a sauce. A sauce should be drippy, not gloppy. But other than that. Yeah, it is pretty Dipping good. the fry, this is not awful. For anything else, it's awful. Also, I'm regretting drinking water earlier in this episode. It's very mayo y. It's more mayo y than ketchup y. I'm going to just, for our YouTube people, just um, bring Brian right to the forefront so they can enjoy it. Brian's not having a good day. No, he's not. He, is, he can't even open his eyes. He's banging his hand, uh, his fist on the table. He's giving me that look of, like, he would give me when, um, like, we're at a slot machine and, um, I tell him something inane as a way to like, just try to make him laugh. Oh, he's gagging now. <laughs> this is like hitting the cash out button on his machine. It's too much cash out. Yeah. Oh, so. It's way more mayo than ketchup to me. This is my problem. This is the first one of three, Brian. I know, well, this, uh, this was definitely a contender for the worst. I like the texture and the flavor together. It just says I can't swallow. Like the gig reflex kicks in. Did you save any of the Klondike bar. bars? What's that? Did you save any Klondike bar for yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. You could try that, mixing that in with this. Oh, no. It gets the taste out of your mouth. Oh. Well, oh, actually, you should put it on an Oreo. No, but it just sits there and like the flavor is terrible, but I physically cannot swallow it. So it just sits right. there torturing me. So you're saying you'd like a change of pace and we should go to honey sriracha. Yes, please. Well, I thought we were going to compare it to the cranch, but I'll honey sriracha. No, we'll go to honey sriracha and then we'll just come back to this joy with cranch. Because this one might not be terrible. Right. This actually looks like um, bad Chinese restaurant sweet and sour sauce. It does. I was thinking. Well, I was going to say kind of... Um, Barbecue. I think this could be a good on chicken. You definitely could get the artistic dripping happening like I have going. Not so great on a saltine. Good by itself. Oh, well, that's spicy. Yeah, that's spicy. That is the kind of weird on a veggie straw. 
it's best by itself. You could actually put this on chicken. So if it's best by itself, Amy, just give yourself a good squirt. Just take that bottle. We want to see what that looks give like. Give yourself a good artistic squirt. Yeah. Oh, no, not on a spoon. Well, no, to let, let, let her work. I just thought, I thought it was going to go right down the hatch. Oh, well, I mean, that works too. Oh. The honey really helps it. It yeah. helps it, yes. It helps it enough. No. I actually kind of like it. What would you use it for, though? Put it on chicken, maybe some pork. I could see that as something in, like... As in a, a sauce, yeah. To me, I know they call it a saucy sauce, but it's still a condiment. And that, like, does not belong as a condiment. I think if it were an ingredient in a barbecue sauce, it could work. I Maybe. I mean, I, I, I realize that these are ingredients that you would put in Barbecue yeah, sauce. It makes me think of just like sweet hot wings or hot sweet wings, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, it makes me think of just a bad day. Mm -hmm. Not the worst day, though. No, that would be the day we tried cranch. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see how it's different from mayo chip. Well, My one, nose is watering a little it's, bit. It's really orange and it has like it's the same bottles color. of color in it. But it's the same color. It has, but it has chunks in it. Yeah, it has some flecks of herbs, but really they're the same color. It has flecks of something, yeah. This looks like, you know what? If the mayo chup wasn't old, I would think this was rotting mayo chup because it looks kind of like moldy mayo chup. Are you ready, Brian? I'm ready for the crunch. I'm not. I got to zoom in on you for our video people. There we go. Now we're ready for you. Oh, I feel bad for Brian. He's having a bad day. He's shaking his head. It's like he's, milder he's mayo chip, Brian. His tongue is out. He, he's doing the, like, I you can <clears throat> kill me now gesture. He should finish it off like a shot. No, we, no, Brian should. Have one bite. Poor Brian is, I remember this face from when I was a child. Antibiotics <laughs> and they were liquid. And Wait, I, I'm sorry, can, can you repeat that sentence, please? You remember this from what? From childhood when I was prescribed antibiotics and it was terrible to have to um, try to swallow. Yeah, no, I had to force that one down. Yeah. Woo! I'm going to try it now. I haven't tried it yet. I don't love it. Me neither. It's okay, but I would have the least use for it. Oh, that's... Oh, I'm just going to eat chips. That's just bad. Like, don't not like I want to vomit now? bad. It's just like, mm. <clears throat> not good. I don't know how to describe it. It's just, I mean, I don't love ranch. It's like the creaminess of ranch dressing. But I don't the, like ranch to begin with, so like, don't don't yeah. form your opinion from me. No, I, like I know, ranch. but it's like creamy. It's 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 like ranch dressing <clears throat> that died. Let's see. I don't like it either, and I do like ranch, but I like ranch dressing. That's a dressing, meaning it's more liquidy than gloppy. You know, a lot of people make ranch more like a dip, and it's super yeah. thick. This is this is like someone. You know what this is like? I know what it is. This is when you're, I was going to say the salad bar, but we're not monsters. We don't go to salad bars, but we do go to a buffet that has a salad area. If we must. Right. This is if, this is like when you walk by the salad portion of a buffet and somebody has taken the ladle from the ketchup and put it into the, pudding. the ranch. Oh. And if they did that and they stirred it, one, they should be escorted out by security. Because even though I would not touch the salads and certainly not the dressing, you're still a jerk and you shouldn't do that. And they should drag you out by the ear. But this is somebody did that. And then someone else was like, <clears throat> happy accident, we should bottle it and sell it. And that person, that person should also be dragged out. The problem I have with this is it's like they took the worst ranch dressing they could possibly find or make to use it. Not all ranch is the same, and this is not the good ranch. 
kind of makes me want ranch dressing just to like get this taste out of my mouth and remember that like I don't even like ranch, but like if I ever just want to ingest fat. Out of everything that you could use to get that taste out of your mouth, you want regular ranch dressing? No, I'm just like, <laughs> like this, you know, there's like this certain thing about ranch where every now and then, like, I'll give you an example. If you're at like a restaurant where a salad comes with your meal and they don't have soup, they don't have another choice, right? Which dressing do you choose? None. You would eat the salad with no dressing? Uh-huh. I would choose ranch because it's the least healthy. And, you know, if you're going to make me be healthy, I'm going to negate that. Um, So I I would pick ranch. Unless it's like just some sort of vinaigrette or something. Like, I'm like, no, no dressing. Then I can't. Like, it's. I'm like, are you sure you can't make soup? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, Yeah, no. Like, dressing. Like, you will get that same reaction that I just had. Like, should we play our game? Oh yeah, there's three of them. Brian's gonna have to marry one, and he's gonna have to frolic with another. I got this. Okay, no, no, okay. Go, Danny. If you know, go right ahead. I think we need to save Brian for last. So yeah, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I think this is really obvious. Um, maybe it's just me. You kill Cranch. I mean, besides the fact that it tastes terrible, it sounds terrible. It's like you go to the doctor and you're like, doctor, you got to look at like my inner thigh. I got like some sort of cranch growing in there, right? Like I need an ointment. Like you need- <laughs> Your like, inner thigh? If you got, well, I was going to say my crotch, but I was, it's a family show. But it seems <laughs> Thank you like for crotch. cranch is like, a, like if you had like- You don't a want bad, a cranch crotch. Like a fungal infection God. or- there's something just horrific happening. You'd be like, I got cran, I got cranch, right? So that's got to die. And it probably will take something very, very strong to get this taste out of my mouth. So it's, it's dying. Um, a frolic, you want that to be a little spicy. Honey sriracha. And I would marry the mayo chup because as much as we give it crap, Every place in America that has a secret sauce, it's some form of mayo chup. Whether it's the yum yum sauce at Benihana, which is like uh, mayo chup plus water, or Raising Cane's and their magic uh, dip, that's like mayo chup plus black pepper. Mayonnaise and tomato is the base of a lot of good things. This version is awful, but it's the least awful. <clears throat> so I would marry it because you know what? Eventually it'll become something. Well, I'm going to start off agreeing with Danny on one thing. I'm killing the cranch. And your doctor's like, uh, there's a whole list of side effects that ha- that come with the cure, but yeah, kill it. It's just, it's just, like I said, even though I'm the one here who actually likes ranch dressing, this was not a good ranch dressing that they started with and they just made it worse. So no, you got to go. However, I'm going to frolic with the mayo chup. I mean, it's fine. Like I said, I like both mayo and ketchup on my burger at the same time sometimes. Right. That's pretty limited. There's not, I mean, eh, it's not that exciting. Right. So I may, may mailing? No, I'm marrying. I'm going to mail the honey sriracha. No, I'm going to marry the honey sriracha because it's got nice, spicy and sweet. Kind of a nice, warms you up right. and treats you right. I think it's good with protein. So I have things to say, but I'm not going to say. I it. know. I, I see you all right. Your tongue, page. literally. I was actually wondering. I was like, if I was going to rub one of these all over my body, which would it be? Probably. The <clears throat> Does it mean? Yeah, you have to. Turn. You're going to have to love one of these, Brian. Okay. Do you? Do you? But no, he doesn't have to love it. He just has no. to marry it. Yeah. Like there's. Or frolic with one too. Like he I might have accidentally. Maybe he accidentally got one of them pregnant, and so now they're getting married. <laughs> so, like, the condiments papa comes up with a shotgun and says... That and, you yeah, know. exactly. Mr. Hines <laughs> comes up behind you with the big, shotgun. Big ketchup, which is clearly the papa to all of these, comes along. Okay, let's do this. 
I want marriage to be happy. I want it to be a good thing. So I am going to marry the honey sriracha. I don't know if we will like each other that much, but it is going to get spicy and, you know, hot and uh, not that heavy, but uh, you know what, we're, we're going to enjoy the honeymoon. And then, you know, the honey sriracha moon. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Got your little honey, got your little spice <laughs> there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully the quarantine wouldn't last too much longer because we're going to get sick of each other real fast. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to marry the honey sriracha. Um, <laughs> I am going to kill the mayo chup because it tried to kill me first and it was self-defense. No one will convict me. <laughs> That's true. A jury, like, it's, it's for real. We have it on video. Right. It's Yeah. yeah. Uh, that means I have to frolic with the cranch. Well, I mean, the frolic, the, the cringe could be a side effect of a frolic. I mean, we already addressed that it kind of sounds like crotch, so you're already in the neighborhood, so I don't know. I mean, you know what, this this frolic happened in Vegas, and it, it's not going any, like, we're keeping it in Vegas right there, but it's going to be our dirty little secret. We met at the Vegas buffet. Yeah. And it was just like in the house. home against my better judgment. Yeah. He, he may have been roofied. Thank you, Marco. I didn't want to say that, but I don't know if this was completely <laughs> like on the up and up. I am. Um, I just had I just an like idea. Saying it now, the cranch, cranch. I have an idea that I'm going to propose. We all try. I once was at a restaurant and I had chicken and waffles, and it oh, came with a um, a chipotle honey. It's like a okay. spicy honey on the chicken and waffle. So what if you took the chicken and waffle Pringle and dipped it in the honey sriracha. Would that make it better or worse? You know I what? mean, you do love it, Brian. If we were talking wife. about Christmas. I'll, I will be generous. Your... I'm in the Christmas spirit already. Yeah, Cheryl is saying that I, I got a case of the cranch in Vegas. Yeah. That is... Um... Watch, Brian. I forgot how bad the Pringles were. <laughs> oh, I'm so proud of myself for making you do that. The good news is... I was like, yeah, your, waffles. Yeah, no, they were awful. Your life partner there, uh, Honey Sriracha, is not so upset. We're not going to be a thruple. No, but Honey Sriracha is actually not more attractive to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sorry if I drooled all over the place. My body's rejecting it. I actually don't think that's too awful. I think it made it worse, but I still like the honey sriracha. So it's okay. I think it's because the, the, the honey right. sriracha is covering up the bad Pringle. Yeah. You could drop, you could uh, cover the Pringle in uh, laundry lint and it would make it better. You cover it in cranch, it'll make it worse. Yeah, that's, that's true. Yeah, you, you don't want to do that. Oh. Now, why did we save this for last? Because because us being upset at food is a draw. Oh yeah, but usually we like to have a happy ending. I mean, who doesn't love a happy ending? Well, I got my brownie. That's a happy ending. I just I've want got my like six squirts to go away. That's that'll be my happy ending. <laughs> I've got a pile of melted Klondike donuts <laughs> to try to eat. Yeah, as soon as we wrap, I'm going to uh, the freezer and getting the rest of my Klondike bar. Oh, I forgot to put it back in the freezer. What would you do for a Con Klondike bar? You would eat honey sriracha on a chicken and waffle Pringle? Yeah, I would torture my taste buds for a good 20 minutes. <laughs> then I'd have a Klondike. I'm a mess. I'm like you with the peanut butter, Brian. <laughs> okay, well, I, you're right. I don't think we have anything else. And the happy note was laughing at Brian face. I don't know. That's not happy for that Brian. That didn't make though. me happy. We haven't had Brian faced in a while. I'm happy to oblige. I am happy that I found these at Dollar General. Oh, but hey, coming up on a future episode, maybe next week, maybe down the road, we have the new hot fudge Sunday fudge stripes. That's true. Amy, I don't know if I told you that, but I found those. And yeah, I dropped those off today. So we'll see what makes those hot fudge Sunday cookies. But well, yeah. And also, a company stole my idea and, and marketed my product. We'll have that coming up too, I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Find it. 
I expect the money to be coming rolling into the podcast then. Um, I don't think they're going to pay me. <laughs> All right. On that note. Thanks for listening, thanks for everyone. Listening, everybody. Yeah, who's have listening. a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. YouTube, thank you for being here this week. Not a great uh, week. Thanks, thanks for being here for sure. Thank you for laughing at our cranch jokes. <laughs> I hope you don't get the cranch. Yeah, I hope you don't get the cranch. I feel like I, I got it. I, I mean, I got, I technically, I got the cranch and then I gave it to you. You passed it along to me. Guys, it's going in the trash. It's even if we weren't quarantining and I could go to the office, I wouldn't bring this to the office. Oh. Well, and the thing is, is we could all agree that the person most likely to want more of it would have been you, Amy. Right, because I like a lot of ranch dressing, but they took the worst ranch dressing you could bake. That was a bad time. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Heinz. Not sorry. <sighs> yeah. Cranch. Checked by a doctor. <laughs> oh, they're gonna ask you to have some protective gear. I'm just thank you, everybody. Just... Heather, Cheryl, Carol, Marco. Marco, yeah. Was there Lily was here earlier? Yep. Yeah. Other people who thank uh... you again for being here, <laughs> yeah, Lindley. It wasn't a great week for me, so mm -hmm. you'll, you'll want to rewatch. Oh, Lindley just got here. You're going to definitely want to rewatch this. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I cranched all over the place. I'm not going to re-eat that, though. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Well, cool. Okay. I think that's a wrap. That is a wrap. Is it all not? Right. Bye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you.